Good morning everyone. Right, so today with our second lesson of OPA, we are going to be doing the Infinity Triangle, or the Penrose Triangle, or the Impossible Triangle, whatever you want to call it. Uh, attached, I've put a, a worksheet just in case you get stuck of step by step. So we're going to start off by drawing like a 3D L shape, and then just joining up those lines, and then just rubbing out the lines that we don't need anymore and it is just three simple steps to draw the triangle and then however you want to complete your artwork it's completely up to you you can add shading like I have done on here on the left or you can add your own dribble effect or you can add design you can do it however you want okay so I'm going to show you how to do both uh, it is relatively easy it's just a technique that you've got to kind of master so you're just going to need a rubber and a pencil and then obviously if you're going to colour it you just need those colours so we'll start off by doing the, the 3D L so I'm going to do it quite bold so that you can see the line but obviously I want you to press really really lightly with your pencil ok so you're going to start with an L shape but the L shape has to be a little bit wonky so it's not a straight L it's just quite a bit of a shape and then you're just going to bring the side up like that and then how you so that's step one no it's not I haven't finished so step one is finished when you've done that bit there so you've got a 3D L like that get rid of that little bit you don't need that okay so that's finished now the next step is we are going to find this line we're going to continue this all the way down to there, so what you need to do is make sure that they're meeting like that, okay? Uh, so obviously the lines that you don't need, just get rid of so that you don't get confused, like so. And then we are going to start again on this line, and we're just going to follow that. So that line should be adjacent to that line, and it should just be a continuation, okay? And then we're just going to throw one more line in there. Like so. And then you are quite simply just going to rub out the lines that you don't need anymore. So we don't need those lines. And we don't need those lines. And we don't need that line. So that's how we do it. So I'll just do it one one last time quickly and then I'll do it a little bit slower so you can see how to just perfect that style. So once again you're going to draw an L shape on the side and obviously because this does not take very long it gives you a really good opportunity to perfect what you're getting wrong. So let's just go back to this. I don't like the fact that that is fatter than that. I don't like that this overpowers that side. I don't like that it's not an equal triangle. So what I'm going to try and do this time is I'm going to try and make sure that it is absolutely spot on and that they all add up. So there's your L, that's step one. And then we are just going to match that line to that line, that line to that line. And then we're just going to put one more line in there. So you can already see that that triangle is a lot better than that triangle because it's quite equal. So now obviously erasing the correct lines is probably the hardest part of this whole piece of work. It's just there. Uh, knowing which lines to rub out there you go and then once you've rubbed the lines out you get your Penrose triangle oh I haven't rubbed that line out there you go I knew it didn't look right and now I'm just gonna rub that line out and do that one again because that's probably the weakest line out of the whole thing so I'm just gonna hook that up to there like so, like 
so. So you got your Penrose triangle, okay? So I think that that one is a lot neater than that one. All right, but as you can see, I've just done it twice in five minutes. So if you want to spend 60 minutes on this, you could get absolutely loads done, okay? So just to extend this further, I'm just gonna show you how to do it a little bit larger and just be a little bit more of a perfectionist. So how I did it was I drew the triangle first of all. Like so. So just remember, the first five minutes of this video, I'm just showing you how to do it, just to kind of conquer step one. Sorry, I've confused you now because I've called it step one, but what I mean is the finished piece. So what I want you to do is just have a go at doing that, and then once you've learned how to do the actual shape, what I want you to do to just be an absolute perfectionist so that you get like a really nice crisp finish like this, is so that you get these lines the same. And the only way to do that is just to be like super accurate with it. Okay, so what I'm going to do with this triangle is I'm going to draw two lines like so. And then this way, what you can't really do is you can't really mess up with the width of everything because you kind of given yourself boundaries this way. So like you see I've done the triangle and then I've just done two lines on each side and then that way you've got your actual border. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go right back to just how I did the video originally and I'm just going to do it like that, okay? So the original L is this one here and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add that in like that and I'm just going to press a little tiny tiny bit harder so that I can see which one I'm doing oh and just before I forget you've just got to square off your corners because when I was doing it the other day this is what I did wrong so you can see that I squared the corners off now so there's my L shape and then what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to come down like so and I'm just going to finish that L shape off like that so I've got that L that I was looking for before All right. and now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fill that line in and that line in coming all the way down And then that one there just goes to the top like that. Oh, once again, I have forgotten to do that. So that one goes backwards like that, and then it goes all the way across. So you've got your L, and then that one should come all the way down to the bottom like that. Okay? And then step three, like I said before on the video, you're just going to rub out those lines that you don't need anymore. And I'll rub the corners out as well because obviously this time it's a little bit different because I did an actual triangle rather than just kind of went off the, the sheet. So I'm just going to rub that line out, those lines out, the connecting, that line. And then you can see that this finished product is a lot, lot, lot neater than the first one that I did. And the second one that I did. The first one was a little bit too fat wasn't the best second one I did was you know I had the right idea I got it sorted out in my head which is the important bit because obviously getting your head around this shape is half the battle and then the actual artwork is the other half of the battle so there you can see that I've done a much better version so with the two little warm-ups and then the the final version well should we call it the final version uh, that's taken me nine minutes to plan out so even if it takes you five six seven times please just stick at it until you complete it and you should have something like that okay so for the final final step you've got a couple of options you can add all the shading like this and you can make it like a toned version or you can add something a little bit wacky so I'll show you how to do a bit of both okay so with the shading, obviously you're just going to start from, you know, behind whatever you're doing. So here, I'm going to start here. 
and I'm just going to take that shade and I'm just going to push it out like that so you can see there how hard I've pressed and then I'm obviously just going to just come off the pressure and then as I go across I'm just going to get softer and softer and softer and then if I want it to be perfectionist I would go backwards and then just go over it with little ovals so it's all spot on okay so it's a shading exercise going dark to light dark to light and then there is no point in me doing the whole thing because obviously you can just pause my video and have a look at my finished piece. It took that that one took me about twenty minutes because obviously I uh, was a bit of a perfectionist with that one, and I kept crisping up the edges. I kept going outside the edges with my shading, like I am doing here. So I had to bring the rubber in, and I had to make sure that it was absolutely perfect. Okay. So you can see there that I'm going from dark to light, from light to dark. Okay, and then I would do exactly the same. I'd go from dark to light, light to dark, dark to light, light to dark, and I would end up with something like that. Okay, so that's how you do the shaded version. Uh, you can colour it if you want, just a nice basic colour would look good, but then just to add that dribble effect, I don't know if any of you have ever done that before, so I'll just really quickly show you how I, how I do that, because it's such a a cool little technique to do anyway so you're just going to do the dribble like so and then what you're going to do bring your rubber in and just ever so slightly rub it all out but just get rid of those lines 